Okay guys, it is day three of our trip and we are headed to snowboarding. We just got off the bus. And they dropped us off at the Fraser Valley Center. The guy told us, oh, it's an easy walking distance. Look at this. It does not look like we're supposed to be walking out here. But they told us that we will be able to walk to the snowmobiling. So we will see. Hopefully we make it. We have 25 minutes to get there. Alrighty. Guys, we made it in 20 minutes. <laughs> It was supposed to take us 12, but we went the wrong way. down there and then Winter Park is like kind of right over this hill. If you're looking here you'll notice that this mountain range makes a pretty good like pretty good line. Yeah. This is the Continental Divide. Guys this is the Continental Divide so hopefully you guys paid attention in school and you know that depending on where the precipitation is it goes to do two different bodies of water. So if you do one side, it's going to go to the Pacific, and then on the other side, it's going to go to the Gulf. All right, so we're about to get back on. I'll see you guys when we get to the next stop. Beautiful. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> We're like in the forest. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, look, there's a mountain in front of us. And a mountain in front of us. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like a man. Can't nobody do it like I can. Daily. Fatness in the lattice in the land. Body turning nigga to a fanny up. Fanny up. I made it where I'm at on my own. finished the snowmobiling and um, since we're doing the snowmobiling in Fraser we're now at the bus stop waiting for the bus we missed the first bus so now we're sitting out here kind of cold are you cold DJ yeah yeah so we're all bundled up waiting for the bus um it should be here in about 10 minutes um but snowmobiling was so fun everything was so beautiful just looking at the mountains and the snow and the trees the trees it was just so beautiful wasn't it dj yeah yeah um we really enjoyed it and we really had a great time so hopefully the bus is here soon um i saw it you saw a bus yeah it was kind of near well hopefully that is our bus and then we will see you guys back at winter park resort guys we just made it on the bus <laughs> Guys, we are stopping at the grocery store to get some drinks before they close. This way. You want a water too? Three sixty-six. Lemon lime, 
library. This is 215. And then I'm gonna get a tea. Tea is 273. We are about to eat at the Lime and American Cantina. Our hotel is right here. Hotel is right there. And Starbucks is right here. And then if you go right around here, this is where the grocery, the put right around there, that's where we went for the groceries. Oh, it's kind of packed in here. Is the menu so DJ is getting the chicken wings the 12 with just regular fries and then I am getting the fajitas chicken and shrimp Before I pack, I wanted to show you guys what I wore while I was here to stay warm. So this is my base layer. Um, and if you look in the inside, this has that thermal extra heat and it also has the wicking material so that if you do sweat, it absorbs the sweat. And then these are just the pants. The pants are exactly the same. Now, when I did, went snow tubing, I did, I have two of these, so I did wear two pair of these for snow tubing, but for every, not snow tubing, for snowmobiling, but for everything else that we did, I only wore the one. These are the socks, and these are the skiing socks um, that keep you extra warm and has the cushion on the bottom. So that is the bottom layer. The middle layer, I have a zip fleece. Uh, it's just a fleece um, and I got the zipper one just in case I got hot I can unzip it the hat that I wore I did have a different hat that I wore which is suffice in North Carolina um, but I also brought my North Face hat which is really thick and this one did much better um, in this climate like in the teens and the single digits then I have the neck gaiter that I wore this went up the back of my neck so it stopped at my ear so ears all the way down gloves these are the waterproof thermal gloves I did not have the ones that <clears throat> I don't have the ones where you could put like the warmers in them these were perfectly fine and for this one, I got the ones where you can actually use your cell phone. So if you look, you see that these are different. So you can actually use your cell phone um, without taking your gloves off. But I still, I kept forgetting and I still was taking my glove off. My goggles are right here. Then my outer layer, I just got the Arctic's um, pants, snow pants. These have the buttons on the side and they also have that <clears throat> snow thing so that you don't um, get snow in your shoes. Coat, uh, this was a really good coat for like $40, very warm, it's a thermal one. And it has the fleece in the inside, it comes with the hood. It has the extra pocket, so this is for like your debit card and things. And key, room key. And then I have 
some more pockets. They're all zip pockets. Um, if you do not have a snow bib, I do not recommend this one because it doesn't have that snow skirt here. So um, one time while I was here on the snow tubing, I believe, was it snow tubing? So one time, no, I was just sitting in the, in the snow and I did get a little snow in my coat, but I was still dry. And then for my shoes, I have my UGG Adirondacks and these are good all the way to negative 36. So I was super warm and dry. And yeah, that is what I wore. Now I did buy, I did bring two base layers, but the rest of this stuff, um, two base layers and multiple pairs of socks. But for my other layers, like my fleece, this is the only one. I wore this one every time. And then I also wore these every time. I would suggest if you're doing more than three activities um, to have an extra pair because they do start to get dirty. So if you're going to be out in the snow um, more than three, two to three days, I would have like a second pair. I only have the one pair. Friends, it is day four and we are about to check out of the hotel room. Um, it is snowing. It's like a little blizzard out here. I know I I definitely said to make this the best vacation ever. I wanted it to snow, um, but I didn't really want it to snow the day that I left <laughs> because you know it could delay flights. But let's see. Let me see if you guys can see. It's like a blizzard out here. Do y'all see? I don't even see the snow in the camera. Hmm. Anywho, I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. So checkout is at 10 and then our shuttle comes at 11.15. So we're just gonna wait in the lobby um, until our shuttle is here. We are all checked out and we are about to go home. We are sitting right now in the lobby in our building, which is the slope side. We're gonna move over to the main building and the shuttle is gonna pick us up there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. We are too. Probably not as sad as you are. <laughs> the real world awaits.